Hey, I am with David Karp from Tumblr. Hello. How's it going, David? Just fine. How are you doing? Good. And David is uh, sporting a great little no, outfit no, no, really, like, here at the Webby <laughs> Connect Summit. Should we do a little fashion shot? You're one of the most stylish Webby people that I know. I don't know about that. There's some pretty well-dressed people. <laughs> so tell me about the panel that you were on yesterday. Um, about becoming an overnight web all-star, which was a little funny. It was really about, I think, building a significant brand quickly and uh, building audience loyalty mm -hmm. after you've kind of gotten that initial surge of traffic. It was very cool. I adored our moderator and I uh, thought we got to talk about some neat stuff. How is Tumblr representative of that overnight success? Well, I like to think that we built something with um, an audience in mind, um, hopefully serving a role that like really wasn't available yet. And uh, we launched an overnight, found uh, you know tens of thousands of users who were just excited to have this thing finally. Um, it was very, very cool. How did that happen? Was it social networking? Was it your relationships? Was it word of mouth? It was all about leverage over the first couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. um, we knew that there was a little bit of that community there. We launched. Uh, we showed this tool to them first. They were totally excited. Um, the fringe web, you know, those early bloggers kind of picked it up and were talking about it. Then we spun that into some like social uh, links, right? So we were on the dig front page, um, popped up in Reddit, stumbled upon all those places. Uh, once we were there, we got a little bit of the mainstream blogosphere attention. Then, literally, I mean, two weeks, we had a uh, you know our first call from mainstream press, which was the Chicago Tribune, and uh, had a, a story in the paper that ran a month later. Amazing. And yeah. so, what are you guys looking forward to now in the future? Like, where are you guys at in terms of now that the overnight success has happened? How do you maintain that? Um, we have kind of turned our focus to building something really, really mainstream. So we've been just focused on this product for the last year. Um, there's still a lot to do, but now we're trying to figure out what we need to do to make this something that really resonates with a lot of people. It's been one of the coolest things about being here at the Webby Connect conference. Like, there are just a lot of people here that are, you know, big media, big publishing, big print, uh, that are used to serving audiences of millions, and it's just very humbling. And it's, you know pretty awesome to be able to learn from them and just see how they think about things. Yeah, because right now, I mean, a Tumblr, you could look at as, yeah, like mini blogs, like on the go. People that don't have time, like you said, that are intimidating. It's a way to share yourself. Yeah, I and mean, share you yourself. Know, for people that aren't verbose who, you know, want to do more than just dump their photos on Flickr, it's a way to share yourself, have an identity online, um, and express all the things that you care about. We say everything that you find, love, hate, or create. Do you find you guys are still in competition with the WordPresses out there and blog, you know, bloggers out there? I like to think that the space exists sort of in between them. So there's still traditional publishing on one end. I think WordPress serves that better than anybody else mm -hmm. right now. On the other end, you have Facebook and Flickr and Delicious and all those things that serve, you know, very specialized purposes. I like to think that Tumblr's right in the middle and serves this kind of wide audience of people who just want to have an identity online and just want to share themselves and, uh, you know, get that stuff out there that they care about. So what challenges have you had as an innovator? And now, uh, you know, specifically now maybe with the economy being the way it is, how are you guys dealing with that? Oh, um, I mean, we're lucky for one to have great investors. Obviously, that's been the, the biggest godsend for us so far. Um, but uh, we have this unbelievably supportive community who's just given, a, given us a huge amount of direction. And, you know, it's this great thing where we get to wake up every day and try and figure out how do we make this product better and how do we better serve this community. It's been this, like, incredibly um, invig invigorating, exciting thing. And, uh, yeah, excited to keep going. What's the big question on people's minds here? What are people talking about? Um, a lot of talk right now about the new paid features we're about to be launching. Um, so, you know, lots of questions about just, you know, when does Tumblr become a business? We haven't uh, turned yeah, How are you dollar. monetizing? Um, we're not yet. So that's the real trick is, uh, <laughs> you know, we've been, been yeah. um, pretty good about not spending too much money over the last year. Uh, but it's about time for Tumblr to grow up and, you know, figure out how to get a lot bigger and how to turn a little bit of profit. And so what that. are you guys thinking in terms, like, how do you incorporate a that? A bunch of things, actually. But the first one is going to be our paid features. So Tumblr Plus is going to be launching in the next few weeks. Um, the idea is we already give away a ton for free. Free. Everything that's free today is going to stay free, um, but we're going to be adding on top of the you know current Tumblr tools a ton of new tools, a lot of new functionality that should really really enhance the experience. Very cool. Yeah. Looking for I'm how excited. many months? So like when exactly are we thinking? Should be next month. Next month. Yeah. Okay, pretty soon. Yeah, very, very very soon. All right, now for some fun questions, just to get to know a little bit of David yeah. Karp. and who is I'm going to add? How old are you? Twenty two. Twenty two. Yep. Oh, you're such a baby, such a baby. Um, <laughs> When do you think we're going to be able to vote online? 
Vote online. Oh, I love to think soon. I love the um, all the renders I've seen of the interfaces where you can go in, vote, you get a confirmation number, and then go home and confirm it. I think that's mm. the coolest stuff. I have no idea what the implications are of any of those systems, but man, I mean, that seems like the way we have to do it in the future. What's your favorite viral video? Favorite viral video? Um, hmm. Have you ever seen the one, it's the, the Haitian news report, and the guy like just breaks down laughing when his like co-host says something funny? It's impossible to describe. I can't do it any justice. It's on my blog, though, davidslog.com. Uh, if you, you flip through my videos, kind of awesome, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Social networking tool of choice, besides, <laughs> I guess, besides Tumblr. Um, I, I don't know. I'm amazed how much my interest in Facebook has just totally fallen out over the last few months. I just uh, don't dig it anymore. Wow. Uh, most, most of the neat stuff uh, on Tumblr these days, which has been pretty cool. It's a different kind of tool, but for me, it's like all the neat stuff I, I care to see on the web. And uh, Tumblr's been doing a pretty good job of aggregating it for me. So kind of cool. What's a site that you go to every day besides your own? Um, I do go to Dig a lot, actually. I still really like the Dig front page. It's a good place to, you know, even though it's kind of noisy, it's still some good stuff on there. And we know they're doing yeah. pretty well with the financing. They're doing <laughs> just fine, I think. I absolutely adore Kevin and Jay, and you know, the company's amazing, the product's amazing, and uh, I mean, I don't know, wish nothing but great things for them. Awesome. So, yeah. Well, this is where this ends. Thank you so much, David. Thank you. Say goodbye to everyone. Adios. Adios, bye. See ya.